Okay, this lesson for our Corne Project class, I'll title it, Thank God for Nevertheless. This is in John chapter 12. We'll be looking at verse 42. It actually goes back to verse 37, speaking of Jesus having done uh, so many miracles, and yet they did not believe into him. And then we get to the prophecies of Isaiah. And then in verse uh, 42, it says, nevertheless, and that was uh, when you hear people speak uh, in apologetics or theologically, they're talking about judicial hardening. So what we saw was a consensus among the nation of Israel. But in spite of that consensus, it had nothing to do with individuals and that inability to believe because of that consensus is demonstrated here to not have apparently applied to individuals. So first we have two words here that are difficult. To, uh, this is the ones, definite article, the ones. And this is a uh, goes back to De in verse 37. On the one hand, he did many miracles and they did not believe into him. And then we go through the prophecies of Isaiah. And then we have, but on the other hand, so on the other hand, So I'm going to try to put this together. And then we have, nevertheless, as we would say, in spite of this that we've now seen, um, we'll make this emphatic, emphatic here. This is indeed, um, of the, of the, uh, our, Cone chief rulers, or let's just say um, of the, well, as chief rulers is fine. Chief rulers, somewhat redundant there. Many ones, now notice here, epistusan, they, third person plural, aorist, indicative, active. Remember, sa, sa, se, saman, sati, san, third person plural believed, and here's that phrase again that I wanted to call your attention to, into him. And then we have a strong break here, but rather because of this, well, let's put on account of, on account of the plural, and then we have this Pharisees. On account of the Pharisees, we have not. And then this is uh, from the word confess in English. It's from two words. Speak similarly. Speak similarly. Speak the same thing. And it's imperfect third plural. They, they were not brought that from here they were not speaking similarly and certainly this is about uh, a gag order if you will that they weren't permitted to speak and there were reprisals if you spoke and of course I I'm used at the wisdom of the political scientists that framed our uh, constitution and then the um, hermeneutics, the scientists, uh, the scientists involved in hermeneutics that collaborated with them to show the genius of the right to peaceable assembly, the freedom of speech, so that there would be no consequences and reprisals. And here we go. It goes in order that, in order that. So there's that word, in order that, not, and this is an adjective, and it's away, away from, and then we'll put synagogue, and we'll just word it out, away from synagogue ones, it's an adjective. So this is like, in you hear uh, someone being ex- communicated, communicate, or communion is the word fellowship, and then to be out from the fellowship, well, it will result in these 
people's situation being away from synagogue ones. Now, when you're away from synagogue ones, all the rights, the privileges, the economy, uh, the social currency is all lost. Your social currency bank account's over. Uh, and then, of course, you are then become subject to the cruelties of the skull-crushing, self-justifying Pharisee, Sadducee. You know the story. So let's finish it up. And uh, come to be, this is in order that they, they might not, not from here, that not there, might not come to be. There, synagogue one. Now, this also helps when we notice, uh, for example, in Romans where some people, uh, it, it's a, it's not a, uh, anything to to ridicule or to uh, diminish someone. It's just if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, well, that's a privilege in the covenant community of people who are already believed into Jesus Christ. And that has to do with deliverance uh, that's appertaining that new covenant and the advantages thereunto. Uh, this here is showing that um, a person believes into him. And when you believe into him, simple form of action, simple form of action, and that's independent of speaking him similarly in a situation where there's reprisals. And yes, there are people uh, when we don't speak for whatever social reasons, for whatever pressures or go along as in the churches in Galatia were so easily pressured, persecuted that they went along with a different gospel, which is not even another gospel. So this is a good lesson. It's just thank God for nevertheless, so that when you understand judicial hardening and you understand it was consensus among the people, that may have been true on one hand, but on the other hand, this is what took place. Nevertheless, the ones of the chief rulers, many ones believed into him. And when you believe into him, you are regenerated, you're justified, absolutely sanctified, everything's complete in Christ Jesus. And then even here uh, with them being in a situation where they didn't speak, and we know there's places in the world now uh, where there's a consensus that's nothing about Christ. For example, in a nation, let's say uh, the nation Israel, the literal genetic nation, people in the Middle East, Israel, the consensus is not that they trust Jesus Christ for everlasting life, the Messiah of the Bible, but they're looking for another. But yet there's individuals who believe. There's countries that have people in spite of the consensus, that judicial hardening, if you will, a consensus, a judgment of a nation, individuals believe. So this is good news, and it's also a good lesson to go through your Corne text, word it out. It is worth it. Sometimes people... Uh, diminish this work, but the outcome is very good and the view is worth the climb. So have a blessed day. Enjoy this lesson.